Typically when people look at incarceration, obviously they always look at the negative aspects. 70% of the people that are in prison are in for things like driving and possession of drug charges and stuff like that, all much more minor things and much more common things than people really realize. I think they over-dramatize things and like go with what you see on TV, like movies and stuff. They stereotype things so that they feel like everybody is that one way. And that's how every single person is going to be. But well, it's not the case. Everybody's different. Everybody's their own individual person. You can't look at things through like such a closed lens. Down. Stay. No, you're supposed to stay. You're supposed to stay, sit. Down. Good girl. Yeah. Stay. Stay. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. I'm really about uh, making this a smooth transition for you, but it really starts with communication, okay? Um, so today, I just, I wanna have a conversation with you. Like, I wanna get to know where you've been, where you're from, all of that good stuff. So um, start from the beginning, where are you from? Uh, I'm from, Arusa, well, I'm from Connecticut originally. I was, yeah. I was born in Texas, I lived there until I was three. And then I lived in Connecticut until I was like nine, 10 years old, I think. Uh, I moved up to Arusa County. Yeah, I was there for, uh, probably like four years or so before I started getting into doing drugs and stuff and part of my drug use might have been from uh, um, ADHD and stuff because I was, I was always never treated for ADHD but I was taking meth at like 15 years old so they think that that was uh, probably a big reason I was probably trying to self-medicate a little bit kind of been a battle for my whole life you know mm -hmm. sounds like you have a relationship with your mom yeah okay where's your mom now Oh, my mom, dad, and my son live in uh, Prescott. Oh, cool. How old's your son? Uh, 15. All right. Oh, he's got to be 15. 15. 14, yeah. How often do you get to talk to your son? Uh, whenever I want to call there if he's not playing a video game. Because I haven't seen him in like, I don't know, two and a half years now probably. So So, so it sounds like that's really a, a, a great focus for you is, is to be there for your son. What are some of your biggest fears, anxiety, concerns? Uh, Obviously, one of my biggest fear is probably um, not succeeding, I guess, you know, and relapsing, I guess. That's always probably my biggest fear. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think this fit pretty much failure, I think, is my... I got rid of all my clothes, I don't have anything to change into now. You go home all sweaty? Yeah, I have a t-shirt out, that's it. I don't have much left to pack, so. I got my flip-flops in there. I might need those at the house to shower, I don't know. 15 guys in the house, I might want to wear them in the shower there too. Most people leave everything behind when they leave, but I'm not leaving all my piles and piles of books I bought behind, and all my school books. I think that's pretty much it. He was such a lovable. He was so lovable. Take care of the puppy. I got your pooch, no worries. All right. Come on. Go on. Right now, so. All right, I think I'm ready, huh? Yeah. All right, see ya. Hopefully not here again. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Together. Yeah.
Right. Ready, Hanson? Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm ready. Uh. <laughs> How you doing? What's going on, buddy? Oh, not much. How are you feeling? Oh, I feel pretty excited. A little excited, a little yeah. nervous? Yeah, oh, definitely a little nervous. Yeah? yeah? It's the first day of your yeah. life right now. Oh, yeah. My primary goal after I get settled in is, is obviously reconnecting with my son. But there's a lot I need to do. People think that like getting out of prison, it's gonna be so great, you're gonna be free, like, but it's pretty stressful. I get kind of so stressed out with things, it seems like it takes me forever just to make one phone call. Uh, yeah, my name is Don Hansen, and I was giving you guys just like getting the hang of actually doing it. It told me that you guys might be able to help me with a grant that was called the Op Opioid 360 grant, and... Yes. I got all kinds of new shoes since I've been out already. I got my cool rocks I saved from prison. They have a perfect line through them of quartz running through them. My roommate's gonna come home and be like, why is there rocks on our shelf? I saved my, my nice spork from prison. I gotta save that maybe because when I go hiking this summer, I might actually take that with me. I figured if I kept the little things to remind me, you know what I mean, maybe I'll keep it in my head that listen, I don't want to go back to that place. You're a lot. All right. My biggest question and my biggest issue is like how I'm gonna fit working with all my other appointments and stuff like that. Like, that's really my biggest uh, fear right now. My biggest thing I'm worried about right now. Oh, on the other side of that building? Yeah, on the other side of that building. All right, hey, thank you buddy, appreciate it. What is your focus for you right uh, now? Right now, for me, it's just trying to get things to just level out and not be okay. stressed out and stuff like that. And just, yeah. I have like a month left of school. It's really comforting to be around a group of people that have all been through the same stuff and then all deal with the same shit you deal with every week, you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, it's nice. Well, now we need a third test here, huh? Where do you want to sit? This guy came here, man. Look at, holy shit. Girlfriends in there smoking. You're not smoking yet, are you? No, I'm not going to. It says, we are pleased to offer you a full-time position with Great Falls Construction. We feel that your skills and background will be a valuable asset to our team and are excited to extend you this offer. I got these boots and I got this tool belt, which is full of tools. I can't wait to see my son. <laughs> I haven't seen my son in like probably um, three years now. How's it going? It's a lot of work and it's a lot of stress. Like, yeah. and I've done it before, so I knew the stress was coming. 
you've managed to get through all this, you should be proud. Hey buddy, what are you doing? Oh, uh, nothing. Getting ready to head up that way. Waiting for Melinda to get here. When's the last time you were back up there? Um, three and a half years ago now, probably. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. Mindy Melinda is a good friend of mine that actually she's like one of the few people that I associated with my past that I still talk to now because she's sober. She's actually one of my better friends. I don't associate with anybody from my past that, not because I don't want to, like, you know what I mean? I still like a lot of those people. It's just that I don't want to get wrapped up in the same stuff and, and I know they're still wrapped up in the same stuff. When I started getting closer to home, it was rough. I, I mean, it's nice, I love it up here, but like on the ride back up, I was having a lot of bad memories and shit. Like actually like good memories that are bad because you know what I mean? Like good times that were like drug related. And, it's like, like memories that you're not supposed to remember. Yeah, I mean, do. I have a lot of good memories and I had a lot of fun times, so. How can you not remember them? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But. Gonna make better ones. Gotta get the right finesse. <laughs> I don't know. I throw like a frisbee. That's all I can throw like. Throw that one. The ultimate frisbee. This is short distance. Yeah, there's a... Uh... Oh, this might be fun. I don't know. <laughs> what the? It's awkward. It doesn't feel right in the hand. All right. All right. Thank, you. Thank you. I'm going to be so bad at this. So <laughs> what are we practicing? It's going to be bad. Right here is the practice hole. So what are you I'd go that one. It's going to be bad. I didn't use that one. Snack, Holy shit, he throws better. Oh yeah, this is gonna suck. I don't like losing. <laughs> so you're good. Oh yeah, you get to lean right in and shit. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna roll way the hell down. Are you slow? Oh my Christ, where did this kid get this arm from? <laughs> oh. That's good. Damn it. I don't think I really wanna play in that. I mean, that's a little intensive. So how's this movie gonna be edited? They edit it. Oh, oh dip. How is it gonna be edited? How? Yeah. I have an like, editing program, I imagine. Well, oh my god, that's not what I meant. Is it gonna be like sad? Oh, modest, I, I don't know. Like, no, I don't think so. Or is it gonna be just regular movie? No, no action or anything? Just no, no, story. No action, it's not a movie. Well, I know, that's what I'm saying. It's like a documentary. You ever watch a documentary? Nope, they're, they're boring. The, they're the boring ones, you don't wanna Yeah. <laughs> Like right straight ahead over here, right straight through these trees. Oh no, I You can barely see, see it, so. I suck, huh? <laughs> My balls suck. Our lifestyles are so different, like, his, he grew up with video games, and I grew up playing outside and like building forts. It was nice to have something that we could both do that was we both liked doing. Want to play a quick game? Oh yeah! Oh! I want to see him succeed and do whatever he wants to do and not get wrapped up in the things that I got wrapped up in, for sure. Obviously, yeah. My, my hopes for him are to not do what I did. Because the life that I live was not 
was like so much of a waste, wasted time, wasted like years of just wastedness. I feel like me being wasted. So yeah, I don't want him to, to go through that. All right. All right. See, I made the shot. It's time to go. Come give me a hug. I'm dirty. All right. That's all right. Love you, buddy. All right. Oh boy. When I got out, I set all these goals and I intentionally set a lot of my goals as like small, achievable, realistic goals so that I wouldn't have to worry about being let down or not achieving them. It wasn't very long before I achieved most of those goals. So you need to continue to set set new goals every day, and like it gives you something to to strive for, I guess, in life. Life is not a straight, narrow path. It's always up and down. And every day, is something different. Every day, something is going to be thrown at you. For me, living my life, it's like I mean, between work and school, I've just been in my spare time, just trying to kind of take things easy. I do my meetings and stuff like that, and try to go hiking or whatever. Or try to pl I try to plan at least like one thing every weekend. This time is definitely different. I knew it was going to be different from the start, just because I changed personally. I changed. I did things to make changes. Like I, I didn't want to get out and be that person anymore. And before you were ready to make the change, what do you think you were afraid of? I don't know. That's a tough question. I, I don't know. Maybe a big part of it was like afraid of being alone, maybe. While I was using, I had all my friends were involved in using. Like everybody I knew was involved in using. Like my whole life revolved around that pretty much. But what do you wish you could have told the part of yourself that was afraid of that? Um, that it won't be that bad, I guess. Slowly, one thing will replace another thing, and slowly you'll find things to fill your time with. I mean, that's kind of what life's about, right? Enjoying yourself and, you know, doing things that you remember that, you know, checking off things on your bucket list, which I don't really have, but I guess I probably to make one. Here we go, off for a little Sunday. Last ice cream of the season. Why are you getting shotgun? Because I'm fucking videotaping. That's why I get shotgun. And you didn't call it. Josh? Hey! <laughs> supposed to wave to the camera and I'll say hey. <laughs> and of course, my fatness had to get the extra loaded, outrageous whole dinner. What do you guys think of that? What do I think of that? I think you are the fattest ass. Me and Josh up on the left. Hello. Doing some non sheathing. Happy birthday, dear Donnie. Everybody calls him something different. The third birthday to you. We're in 20, about 22, right? Are you having fun? It's all right, it's calming. Fucking lost him already. There he is, got him. Oh yeah, there's a little guy. All right. Uh, what, big one? I <laughs> know. You're grill fishing, huh? <laughs> Ow. Yeah. All right, here we go. Curry's house barbecue time. Oh shit. Peter, what do you think of the barbecue? Street dope. Good day for barbecue. All right. New little fun. Ah, thanks to the camera. Yeah. Fucking stud. Fresh cut. Oh yeah. Got my hair trimmed up. I forgot about that. I got my hair trimmed. <laughs>
drop a finger. Oh, I'm and here we have no, assistant to the house manager, Dave. Hey. Oh my god, I, I got you. Oh, hey. <laughs> gotta get everybody on the camera for the Courage House Bar deal. We got it. Hey. Hey. Oh. <laughs>